ยะจาธรรมะชาบิบุตรพระพุทธพระบาบาโลหิตมาทิปุสสัมอาบาลพระชาบิยะสัตติโตตัติยะพุทธะธรรมะบัณฑานรูปตัณฑะจันนาตโตทีสัมมาณิเดชะติหินสุสัพพิภาชังโลหิตมาทิปุสสัมธรรมะหังพระชาบิยะโครยะธาณสัยBut 
initiation is not just simply chanting. It's not that you're just going to chant. But Haridas Thakur, he, we don't know that he was ever actually initiated. All he did was chant Hare Krishna. But we're not simply going to just chant Hare Krishna. Devotees being initiated into the Krishna Consciousness Movement are expected to take part in the different activities which take place. Just like every every Sunday morning you have a program here, Bhagavatam, you have also Saturday evening, you have Bhagavad Gita classes from time to time. Different senior persons will be coming here giving programs, giving lectures. It's certainly encouraged to, to the devotees to come and take part. And just recently we had Thai Pusa. We took part in the Thai Pusa. We brought the chariot and we and then similarly we have about Rathiatra festival, we have Janmastami festival, Gorpunima festival. All of these activities, devotees should take part. They should attend and they should help to organize these different festivals. Very important. So initiation is not just simply chant Hare Krishna and finish. Initiation means connecting to the Sampradaya and connecting to the ISKCON society. Recognizing Srila Prabhupada as the preeminent Shiksha Guru for all the devotees. So becoming a devotee, being initiated into the Krishna Consciousness Movement, the devotees are encouraged to read Prabhupada's books also and, and discuss them also, have discussions on them. Now more and more devotees are arranging classes online and they have their little groups of people, they meet together, they have reading programs together and they will read together. Many ladies especially are doing this. They will get groups of ladies together, maybe online or sometimes physically also. And they will read and they will discuss. It's a very good exercise. So we encourage the devotees, you know, think about how you can share Krishna consciousness with others. Children are also important. We want our children to grow up to be devotees. That's very important. We, we do want the children, once they grow up, that, they're faith, that they have faith in Krishna and that they are devotees. So organizing children's classes is also very good. Nowadays in ISKCON, Initiation has become more controlled and there is more requirements for initiation. Previously, you know, you, you would, you could come, for example, in the Lila Rita, it tells how one man came and he was not in a very good condition. He was dirty, he was a <laughs> but he came to the program where Prabhupada was giving initiation and he asked Prabhupada, he said, Swamiji, can I also get initiation? So Prabhupada said to him, you have to answer two questions. So Prabhupada said, first of all said, who are you? And so the man said, I'm a soul. And said, Prabhupada said, very good. And he said, what is your relationship with Krishna? And the man said, I'm serving with Krishna. Prabhupada said, all right, you can be initiated. <laughs> so nowadays, we also have uh, courses for devotees, like we have the Islam Disciple Course. And that is mandatory for anyone who wants to take initiation. And we encourage all people coming to Krishna Consciousness that it's a good idea to attend the ISKCON Disciple Course because it will allow you to understand more about the activities which are going on here and you understand more about the process of initiation and you will also learn how you're supposed to select 
your spiritual master. It's not that we tell you, you take initiation from this person, but everyone has the opportunity to decide for themselves who they want to select for their spiritual teaching. Of course, ultimately, Srila Prabhupada is the preeminent Shiksha Guru for all the devotees. And the initiation is to connect us more closely to Srila Prabhupada through the Parampara. And we do not think that by accepting initiation from a person that I am obliged to that person is my guru, but rather we accept that that devotee has helped me to become a member of ISKCON, a member of the ISKCON society and to become related to Srila Prabhupada. In the past, I had witnessed that there was one person who was a spiritual master and he had, a, he had many disciples, but at one point he had deviated drastically from the principles of Krishna consciousness. And he went out of ISKCON. And when he went out of ISKCON, many of his disciples followed him. They left ISKCON because they thought, I should go with my guru. So that's very wrong to think like that. Rather, at the time of initiation, we encourage devotees to think that I will stay in Iskon. I will never leave Iskon. I will remain in the Iskon society. So we encourage the devotees to think like that at the time of initiation, that you're being initiated into the Iskon society and remain in Iskon. So initiation is uh, called di Diksha. And Diksha is described, it means the removal of sinful reactions and the awakening of transcendental knowledge. So, understand that these two things don't happen immediately at the time of initiation. But it's going to take some time for these things to happen. But if you continue to regularly hear and chant, then certainly it will happen. Initiation is where we are making the vow to become serious in our spiritual practice. One lady, I was giving initiation recently in Malaysia, and one lady told me, she was a married lady, and she was working, and she told me, she said, when she told her husband she was being initiated, he was, he was worried. He thought, no, 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 I don't want you to go. <laughs> you know, she was a married woman. So the husband said, I, I don't want you to leave home. She said, I'm not leaving home. She said, I'm just becoming, I'm, I'm just making a commitment about my spiritual practice. So the, when the husband understood, then he agreed that his wife could also go ahead and take initiation. And the husband actually came and sat in her initiation yagya with her. So in, in family life, it's not that everyone may practice, although it's certainly an advantage if everyone in the home is devotee. It makes our spiritual practice much easier. If some, some people are against spiritual practice, then it becomes difficult. But I think mean, we encourage everyone, try to adjust. We do have a number of devotees in these kind of situations, but somehow they manage. If one is thoughtful and intelligent, Krishna will show you how you can do it, how you can arrange your home or your life in such a way that you can follow. Yesterday one man was telling me that his wife said, I'm not going to give up tea and coffee. <laughs> 
So I told him, I said, well, you can get decaffeinated tea and coffee. You don't have to take the tea and coffee with caffeine. So he, he thought, well, that's interesting. He said, I never thought of that. He said, maybe I can do that and encourage my wife. <laughs> So, th there's always uh, solutions to the problems which we face. And the problems which we face in being a devotee, getting prasadam can be a problem sometimes. But we do have vegetarian restaurants, and nowadays there are in Singapore we see a lot of vegetarian restaurants, of course most of them have onion and garlic. There's also vegan restaurants. But better is to get food cooked by a devotee. And the best is to get home cooking. So if you can eat at home, that's the best, rather than eating out. We encourage the devotees, if you can get home cooking, you cook for yourself and cook. Just like myself, I travel. I traveled a lot, and for many years I was traveling in China, and I was alone. And I would tra I would always bring my hot plate with me, and I brought a pot, and I a little spices, a little ghee, and I could always cook for myself. I would always manage buy some rice, some dal, few vegetables, and I could always manage to cook for myself. I did. I, I never add outside. It's just not the habit for not very good for a devotee. And I remember Srila Prabhupada also telling us one time in Mayapur the devotees had all come from the West and we were all in Mayapur and Prabhupada was there and he knew the devotee you could see they were all coming from the USA and like that. And he told them all, please don't eat in the restaurants. The devotees went, oh. <laughs> they were all thinking, you know, we're going to go to the sweet shops, we're going to go and eat and have a try everything. And because they, they were thinking, go back to the West, we'll make a restaurant. But Prabhupada said, please don't eat in the restaurants. You're a Vaishnava, you've got shaved head, neck beads, you, you don't need to go and sit in restaurants and eat them. So, this is, of course, time and circumstance, you have to consider time and circumstance. Sometimes you may have to do these things. Sometimes there's no alternative. But if we're thoughtful, you can make arrangements. We don't want to make a habit of these things, of going to restaurants. So, Four principles are there. I said cultured people who follow these. No meat, fish and egg. No intoxication means also things like tea and coffee, cigarettes, alcohol. No gambling and no illicit sex. Like that. Four principles. No uh, there should be no onion and garlic also, because these things are aphrodisiac. Means they increase the passion. So they're like an intoxicant. You become affected by them. Although everywhere people are using these things, they, they think food without onion and garlic will have no taste. But there are many spices. For example, you can get hing or asafatita, as they call it. And you put that, that's like a substitute for onion. You can put something in the food in case taste. You know, we, you don't need these things. In the Buddhism also, they want to use onion and garlic. And so certainly in our Vaishnava culture, onion and garlic are not encouraged. We don't offer to Lord Krishna. Uh, the most important point is chanting Hare Krishna. The real initiation 
is in the chanting of the holy name. Second initiation will begin Gayatri Mantra. We do need twice initiated devotees for the proper worship of the deity. Those people who are worship, helping in the worship of the deity, both in the kitchen and on the altar, ideally they should be twice initiated. So we do require to have more twice initiated devotees. But there's a standard for that. And, and His Holiness Jayapataka Swami is very concerned about this and he has made the standard, at least his standard is that second initiated people must complete Bhakti Shastri course. If they have not studied Bhakti Shastri, he will not award second initiation. How many devotees here have completed Bhakti Shastri? A few. Yeah. So it's a good idea for devotees, those of you who are initiated and who are practicing, try to take the Bhakti Shastri course. Attend the classes, and it's online usually, but although so sometimes you, I did it here live, I tried to teach it here live, I think about two people graduated by that time. There were many people at the classes, but when it came to do the essays and things like that, people didn't do it. Anyway, gradually more and more people are taking these things seriously. Where after Bhakti Shastri, you can go on and study Bhakti by Bhav and study the first six cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. And right now, there are people studying Bhakti Vedanta. They're studying Cantos 7 to 12. So the classes are going on. And in the future, more and more devotees will study in this way. It's very valuable to study the scriptures in these classes. You get a much deeper understanding and a much better grasp of what's happening in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So we encourage the devotees, you know, try to take part, especially Bhakti Shastri. It's the basic, it's Bhagavad Gita, nectar of instruction, a little bit of nectar of devotion, and Sri Ishupanishad. These books. So if you have the interest, you please try take Bhakti Shastri course. And uh, we encourage the devotees, if you're not initiating, you can be thinking about it. And you can attend the ISKCON Disciple course. And the ISKCON Disciple course will help you understand why initiation is important and it will help you also how to understand how to select your spiritual teacher. We can have many shiksha gurus, but we only take diksha one time. But shiksha gurus, you can have many. And there are some people who only give shiksha. People like Banu Swami, Banu Swami doesn't give diksha, but he gives shiksha. There's a lot of shiksha disciples. <laughs> Difficult in here. Okay, I think we'll go ahead with the initiation. We'll give the beats and the name, and then we can finish this. So, uh, Vishal Prabhu and his wife, they can come forward.
your son, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is Prabhu and his wife are from India. They're residents here in Singapore. They've been here in Singapore for many years now. For 10, 10 12 years? 12 years. His wife came 10 years ago. They have two children, two boys. You can see the one boy here. <laughs> so they're taking initiation together. So there's our problem. What are the four regular principles? No meat eating, no sleeping, no drink, and no intoxication. And every day chanting? The minimum 15 rounds. Yes, 16 rounds, right? Mm -hmm. So both are working. They have two children. So they're busy, but they're committed to Krishna consciousness. And they've been coming regularly and they've met all the requirements for initiation. Uh, Vishal Prabhu told me that he was very devoted to Lord Rama before coming to Krishna consciousness. And he didn't, he didn't know, he didn't understand how Krishna was supreme. But then when he came here in Singapore, and he was attending classes and so on. He was hearing more, learning, and become convinced now about Krishna consciousness. And he's taking the initiation today. So because he was a devotee of Lord Rama, I thought I'd give him a name of Lord Rama. I thought it would be nice. So we came across a nice name for him. The name is Brata Dharada. Pratatara means one who is very firm in his vows. Right? Lord Rama made vows, right? He went to forest, Manavas. Right? How many years? 14 years? 14. Yeah? So there's our Manavas. And he made a vow. Eka Patni Vrat. So, Bishal Prabhu, we hope you will also keep your vows, right? Now your name is... <laughs> I forget. Bratada. Bratada. Bratada And Mataji, we're giving you also a name of Mother Sita. Your name is... Rameti Devi Dasi. Rameti means one who always remembers Lord Rama. So your husband has a name of Lord Rama, so you can always remember your husband. I wanted to put the counter on the outside of your big bag. The counter is important. We keep a counter on the outside. Every day when you check one round, you move the counter. So, let me see what we're
I, I should also announce that we're awarding the second initiation to uh, Srinivas Govinda Das Prabhu. Srinivas Govinda Prabhu is already initiated. He's taking second initiation today, the Brahman initiation. And we hope he will be more involved in the deity worship of Lord Jagannath. And we do need people to keep up the standard of the deity worship. The more we have brahmanas, then the more we have nice deity worship. So Srinivas Govinda Prabhu is taking second initiation today and sitting in the yagya. And we also have two managers who are disciples of Srila Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj, right? On one Prabhu. Okay, so both all disciples go about Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. 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 Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Hare. So, what are my devotees? I just explain the purpose of this ceremony. As such, our humble request, also a loving order, kindly put all your mobiles to silent mode or switch them off. Now, we don't want to hear them ringing while we are chanting the prayers. Thank you very much. So please follow this particular verses and then I will follow the rest. Please do not engage in any conversations among yourselves. Please focus on the five sacrifices. Thank you very much. Chen. Om. Om. Apavitra. 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 Apavit
Sarvavasam Gatopipa Yes, Mare Kundarigaksham Kundarigaksham Sahaya Bayantara Bayantara Swaha, 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 Swaha,
The rest of you all, please also rise. So we would like to humbly request all the Vaishnavas and the Vaishnavis present to kindly give your blessings to these new initiates as well as the second initiates for them to become well situated in Krishna Bhakti Brahma and to also bestow upon us Krishna Prema. Please respond. Om. 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 Namo. Brahmanya. Devaya. Go. Brahmana. Jagatitaya, Krishnaya, Govindaya, Namo Namaha. Now you will read this. Om Purna Homam Yasati Vishnave Yuhomi, Ya Asme Vishnave Yuhomi, Sa Varam Asme Dadati, Vishnu Varam Brane, Yasasa Bhami Loge Swaha. I want you to come forward and place the bananas by the side of the fire. Don't throw it into the fire. Can you remove this chair? Take away the microphone. Now we will start to do Harinam. I want all the initiates to go three rounds on the fire and then go to Sula Prabhupada, pay of interest. Go to Jagannath Pradesh, Madhra, and play your dances, and then go to the master, is it down? He's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. Okay, then, pray, pray to all the vice members present, and then you go on. Okay, and can we have your attention please? Thank you. So now, we go three rounds on the fire. Pay your venture to Srila Prabhupada, pay your venture to Sri Sri Jagannath, Dhati Swatra, Prabhupada Nachile, Pachita Dvagavan, Sadhguru Swami, Krishna Rani, Guru Prabhupada, and then you go around doing Chandi, Yashi Lakshmi, Hare Guru Maharaj. Right? The rest of the devotees, once they have finished three rounds, we can go around the fire, three rounds, and then stay there. But you don't collect money. Right? Hare Krishna. Give them this channel. Go, go. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 O